Yo, yo, everyone, and welcome to a new Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord series. Today, we are going to be doing something that we haven't done for a while, which is a modded playthrough. Today, we are going to be playing as Gunhilda, this scrawny little thing. She is cruel, she is calculating, and something I don't usually do, but I have given her a bunch of darting skills and stats with no tweak mod in this mod list as it's not updated for 1.6.4. Well, I want to put a little bit into this and also to help with the roleplay just a little bit because Gunhild here is a bit of a rogue as you could see from how many points in roguery she's had. In fact, she's not just a rogue but she's a bit of a criminal. We have the criminal mod here, and we also have some custom troops. Some that are not actually present right now, but Gunhilder is of the Ormdotir family. Indeed, she comes from the frozen north. She was a runt, she was weak, and she was cast out. But the coiled cultists found her and raised her, and so she comes to Sturgia to save it from destruction with the help of her coiled raiders and wolfmen. Indeed, it is a simple tree, for she will also be gaining the favour and using bandit troops. But over here we have the simple sword and board troops you would normally call it. These brigand types raiders in heavy armor and throwing weapons they are the sword and board troops of this troop tree and on the other side we have the berserkers the coiled wolf men with their two-handed weapons and their javelins focusing a little bit more on light weight armor although still better and better they do eventually have very good armor with strong weapons and Jareeds. And we will get to the noble troops when we find one. But yes, these coiled cultists will help Gunhild in her quest. Now, since we can't actually recruit any troops, let's do something else first. Let us try to scam the locals of Varcheg. And it was a success! We got some roguery experience, some charm, and some money. Wonderful. And of course, because we are Sturgeon and we're here to save Sturgeon from destruction, we're going to be doing what we can early on to keep it safe. What is this? This is a artisan. No, we're not bothered with the artisans. We want to do the quests of the criminals because in this mod, we can do all sorts of things by making the criminals like us. Let's check out the Tavern District, and there is nothing going on here. Right, we could spend our new money to go into the keep, but there's actually no one there to visit. And nothing in the arena as it stands either. Ooh, if we got any horses, we could sell them here for a good price. And they also have fish cheap. And grain is expensive. So what we will likely do is go somewhere else, maybe get some horses, some troops, and, well, other things as well. But whilst Gunhilda is not known as being valorous, she is brave. And these six looters here, well, they need a little fighting, don't they? And, well, this is not an Iron Man, in fact. So expect me to do some more stupid things. Ah, and here we are, riding on a horse. Well, the horse is not the best thing in the world, but we have eight throwing weapons. Which is what we need to make this work. Ooh, yes! Slam in the face. Well, not quite in the face, but good enough. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wow, that must have hurt. Uh, well, that was a goal. Okay, we should be careful. We don't have that many throwing things. 
Okay, that was that. Ooh. Okay, we might have to chase them away a little bit so we can pick up our things or just slap them. None of them do have... None of them actually have... Uh... Never mind, he does have Varden. I actually need to slap that guy before he's out of rocks, I think. Ooh, okay, okay, actually, I think we've just got to ride away. Go have the first plan. Maybe I should have just not been on the horse. Maybe I should have just gone for just throwing. Which, which is probably a good idea. I mean, I'm much better at throwing when I'm not on the horse, i got to say. Let's hope the stuff doesn't despawn. Maybe that we are close enough to pick it all up. Uh, no, just rocks now. Shit. Okay, well, this is a good start. And, uh, Luta is very fast. Wonderful! Good start, Gunhilda. Good start. Something very funny with the Rogue mod is that it doing the crimes gives you a lot of honor experience. I I have no idea how that actually works, but now Gunhilda is honorable. Um which makes no sense because really I I think she isn't at all. But uh there you go. Oh look how sad she looks all weak and pained. Oh dear, poor cultist. Regardless, hopefully she can keep her cruelty intact. Because everybody knows that the negative traits are the ones that bring home the bacon. Oh, and here we get to see the elite troops. The coiled shield maidens. Indeed, these are also two-handed semi-berserker troops. Although, they have throwing weapons and then a shield with it as well. So they're not quite the same level of uh, rushing in and going crazy. Although in the end, they are very skilled and very armored and very dangerous. Right, let's get those damn troops. We've got to get them or we'll... Ah, one coiled levy. Wonderful. We have one man. Definitely better than none, I'd say. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess we've got to be careful of these bandits. Eight recruits? There was no one there! Uh. No, 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 no. Damn it. The game is trying to troll me. I can feel it. Now, luckily, at least the My Little Warbound custom troops, Warbound? Warband custom troops can be recruited anywhere. Alright, and you might have noticed that none of these troops are actually mounted or have real ranged weapons. And that's entirely on purpose. Well, we're slowly getting there with the troops. Oh, more. And this is an artisan. Darn it, we don't care about you artisans. Ooh, more troops. And more opportunities to commit scams. It was a success! My goodness! Seems like Gunhild is really a capable criminal. Anybody here in the tavern? Ooh, Auric Breakskull. Ho, ho, ho! He seems like the perfect man to join us. Daring, cruel, and impulsive? It's okay to have impulsive. We're calculating. We can rein him in, but look at this. Athletics and two-handed. Mmm. And he's rather handsome as well. Auric Breakskull, we need you, sir. Ooh, and he's tall! My goodness. Can we indoctrinate him? And get him into uh, our clan. Yes, we can. Oregon Break Skull needed little to no convincing to join the Orem Dot Ears. Or he's, he's obviously not an Orem Dot Ear since he's a Ormson. Whatever. We got it. We got him. And we're going to try and join this arena for a bronze scale vest. Maybe that'll protect us from the looters. Now, the big sad about this is that uh, with no mods, I can't bet any amount of money, which is awful. I love risking it all. But uh, at least it's going to look like we're really fast because we're tiny. Ooh. 
Whoa! Oh, is this a noble? It certainly looks it. Oh! Are you gonna are you gonna be beaten by a little girl? Oh, he's fast. Woohoo! Sorry, Isvan! Ah, any size shield is big enough to cover up Gunhilder. <laughs> right! Hello, sir. Sturgeon Heavy X Men. Are you heavy enough? Oh, I should actually be careful. I forgot that I actually don't have full health. Doesn't matter. The 1.6.4 patch is very stable for me, actually. So I am feeling much faster and less laggy and, and much more skilled. It feels fantastic. It's so smooth. So if you're a lower end PC, or I say lower end, but like if you're not super upper end PC, wasn't doing so swell and 1.6.1, 1 2, and 3, 0.4 might. Certainly is for me. Okay, yeah. I think we've got to deal with the, the Spearman for me first. Because I'm going to need the our Spearman to focus on the Horseman. Yeah. See, it's working. Teamwork! Come on, Spearman. Chastimir? Chastimir? Oh my god, it's the Chased Man! The Chased Man facing down Gunhilde. What is this? Oh, throwing weapons! Shit! Oh no, oh no! Oh! Woo! Oh boy! Ah, my eyes were looking at the screen! Ah! We did it! The short... The short Maniskin Hilder with gumption and gusto smacked all these heavily armored men. Indeed, a true Norse woman from the northern lands showing these half-breed sturgeons what's up. Oh my, horses here are dirt cheap! That means we've got to get as many as we can without being as slow as balls. And we could sell this for a lot of money, but we need to protection. Oh my god, she really is a scrawny thing. Maybe she will grow a little bit as time goes on and get stronger, you know? Ah, and we should probably get a two-handed weapon. Since she isn't much of a one-handed lass yet. But we will keep the one-handed weapon, I think, on her person for now. Well, we'll keep it. Just for, uh, stuff. Yeah. And Auric Break Skull. Actually, he can have our sword and our armor does seem a little bit better overall than what he had. He kind of needs a two-handed weapon as well, doesn't he? But... There are no more. Next time, I think. Now, we might be criminals, but we do need some starting funds. And this criminal mod is very happy to suck out all your money. And whilst we do want to fight bandits as well, to clean up the Sturgeon streets, so to speak, show them who's the real bandit queen, we can't really take on forest bandits right now. I think we have no chance. Oh, shit. Okay, do you know what? We are just going to have to uh, ask them to work something out. Nothing else for it. There's way too many bandits here. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully they all get the message that we are not to be trifled with because we just paid them all off. Oh, goodness. Well, that was a lot of money. And these guys are still following us. Oh, we're going to get some revenge on these guys. Good thing we're getting some shield maidens in here. Good troops. Especially early on with their shields. 
Right, let's hope this stuff is still worth something. Not quite as much as it said, but... Worth enough to sell. And obviously fish is still dirt cheap. Apparently I can sell cheese for a good amount of... Well, let's grab a bunch of this. Sell all the grapes. Well, not 75. That's a bit extreme. Cheese is what we were going to sell. Wonderful. And... A couple of the horses. I don't have enough money. Damn. I was not even looking at that. There we go. Oh, wait. Quests. What is this? It is a gang leader with a quest. He needs recruits. How can I help you, sir? Uh, hmm. He needs recruits. Some ladies and gentlemen of uh, different varying levels of repute. He needs seven bandit recruits. We can do that, I believe. Actually, can we do some of that here? Recruit some minor faction troops. We have two villainy points. Let's see if it lets us get some criminals. Lake Rat Veteran. Are they any good? They're not terrible. And they're actually a little bit similar to our troops. And the... Hmm. They level up quickly though, don't they? And they are certainly... Interesting. Jagged, fine, steel spears. Cool. But we will cancel... Because we want the criminals for the quest. And we can buy some criminals at this hideout. So on our way back to Omor, we will have to do that. And maybe we can actually fight and defeat some bandits. Just selling some horses on the way to, uh, you know, make sure we actually have money to pay our guys. We should get over to Omor quick, smart, so there are no issues. Yes, we will get the money and then we will get the bandits. 17, huh? Oh. Right. Good cheese. Off you go. Wonderful. Excellent. And another gang leader here. Ooh. His associates are captured by bounty hunters. We can do that. I'll do it. I'll save his darn bandits. Someone's got to do it. And we do need the scum to love us. What do he want? Tools? Ah, get out of here. I don't care. Although we can't save this man's associates with this few troops. Train troops? Never. Although, those are free troops, actually. So let's do it. Yes. We will train his troops, these borrowed troop. Oh, they are awful. Woof. Oh, well, nothing to do about that. But uh, they will be cannon fodder for us. Recruit bandits. Let's do it. Free booters? Ooh, we're not going to want to give those to that dude, are we? Oh, this is excellent. Free booters are so good. Look at those shins. Mm, pure power. And now we will wait until nightfall to attack. Oh, and we're gaining roguery points and tactics points. Tactics as well. Mm, mm. Time to attack this hideout. Indeed, we are taking all of our good men. Well... We will take the borrowed troops instead of our coiled shield maidens. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but it is what we're doing. Because that's, that's what they're here for. Alright, have everybody follow me. We will sneak as much as we can. Which should be possible, considering how bloody small she is. Okay. Obviously, I'm too far away. 
I still can't hit. I am bad. Oh, at least I hit that guy in the head. And now back to following. Oh, never mind. Make sure we don't get hit by those arrows. Oh, our troops running. Don't run, men. Get going. Oh, dear. Well, we gotta do it, guys. It's just us. Some of our people are just running away in fear. I suppose our morale wasn't that great. Oh, that wasn't the the longest weapon strike. I guess uh, I forgot we don't really have the uh, best two-handed weapon in length or strength or anything. It is the cheapest, the worst, but it does its job, you know? It strikes. Oh. Ah, what? I have lost the- Huh? Bloody hell, I actually lost the quest? You're shitting me. Oh. One fail. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have taken these stupid trainee troops. They're terrible. Should have taken some actual capable troops, shouldn't I? Oh, my mistake. Guess can heal. They still has to learn that some troops are just really not worth trying to rely on. Oh, but Ragnvad, let's say hello to him. We do need to butter up to him eventually. Hello, Grand Prince Ragnvad. I am Gunhildr. Mark the name down, sir. You'll be hearing of me a lot. Know that if you ever cross me, you'll wind up as food for the ravens. Well, we'll see who ends up being food of the ravens. Do you have a problem, sir? Hmm, I see. Not anything we can help with. Can we discuss? Oh yes, we could jo attempt to join his warband as a soldier and earn some skills fighting alongside him. Maybe at another time. Maybe indeed, because we do have a mod that is like Freelancer and has many of the same features, but isn't quite the same. Some of the features are different. Ah, uh, let's see. Drawing speed or more damage against shields? No. Let's do the drawing speed because shields. Eh. Whatever. And let's get some more points in charm. Because we do need the criminals to like us, and like us as fast as possible. But uh, this man here, we have got some men for him, not all of them. And so uh, they could have been upgraded, but actually, let's actually upgrade them first. I believe they will be worth more, even if it costs us 100 gold. I think there might be some... Uh, a little bit of an investment there. And let us try to scam again. And we succeeded. Marvellous. And we can go to the keep, bribe ourselves in, get a little bit of experience, and there is a Mimir in here. Oh, and he is not a good sir. He is cruel and close-fisted. Mm-hmm. Is he not? The son of Ragnvad, indeed. Interesting. The brother of Simia. Simia being similarly aged, but way more capable, my goodness. This might be a boy we need to talk to, because he could be an exceptional spouse. And you know, our good sir here is actually quite capable with one-handed weapon, so I think for now we're just going to give him a shield and leave it at that. Um, come on game. Really? 
One handed sword of the shield, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go to Revel. Do a little bit more criminal activities and then go back to the bandit hideout. Get some more bandit troops and then give them to our quest man. You know, we can't really rely on the official and good things as a cultist. He also needs recruits. Oh, Mr. Viper. I'm afraid I can only help you one at a time. Oh no, I failed. Shit. Okay. Guess it was bound to happen at some point. Looks like Revel has some cheap grain that I can sell at Varchig. And sell it we will because uh, the criminal activities brought our money down low. And it's going to bring our party morale even lower. We're going to need more of that leadership skill as well, it seems. Oh, and what's this? A tournament. Just what we needed. Okay, now we've got some money. Got a scouting perk? Hmm. Well, let's just focus on the day because nighttime sucks no matter what. And let's... Yes, we still can't do anything here. The arena. Another tournament. Hopefully my allies can do something whilst I am tanking. And no. Okay. We, uh, we got mauled. We, uh... Okay, never mind. We just had trash. Yep. Alright. Great. The coiled cultists' rise to fame and fortune is really uh, going slowly, isn't it? Can we try again? No, we can't. Mm. How long until we can scam here? Two days? Well, back to Omor then, I think. Back to Omor. Maybe there are some weaker bandits we can take advantage of. There we go! Look at you, scum! Well, fine here, actually. But you will suffer for being in Gunhildr, Orm.eu's way. Right, off the horse we go. Right. They will stand here, ready to throw the... Oh, excuse me. Throwables. Put our other dudes over there. And now everybody engage. The enemy is split up. Time to throw at them. Our throwing weapons are better than yours. All right. I forgot. Some of our levy, our coiled levies actually have some weird round throwable ball things. I think about 50% of them are, are supposed to. Damn it, I can't hit shit. See, this is why I really like the tweak mods. So you can change the morale just a little bit, just so they don't run away so quickly on either side. Well, we got a little bit of loot. Not not impressive, but you know, could be worse. All things considered. I mean it could of course be much worse. We could have just lost. Seventeen looters sounds like free money to me. Although obviously if some of the other forest bandits get in here afterwards, it would be dangerous. But they shan't get our men in position. My goodness, do you see how these javelins on her back is actually covering up her entire being. It's a little bit concerning, isn't it? Uh, yeah, look, look that way. How can I not hit these guys? Are they... What? Are they all running away? I didn't even get to swing at them. My god. How can you have any respect for yourself as a looter if you just... Did they even lose anybody? Four of them died and they immediately run. What the hell? Well, we get some troop upgrades though. 
I think we should get some coiled raiders first before we go for the uh, others. But oh yes, we even actually get to upgrade all the borrowed troops. Are we? Did we succeed with this quest? Yeah, send the troops back. Wow, a good amount of money. Charm. Holy moly, and a little hood. Oh yes. Oh no, though, we are now very slow and much smaller. I guess we will have to pay them all off. Worth it. We need to get out of here. Damn, so many bandits, it's insane. Oh my goodness, we need to make these people like us. Gang need to... Damn it, why the recruits? Right, let's try the tournament quickly before we do the crime in case we fail. And shit. How do they do that? Ugh. Fine. Damn these bongos. Let's do the dark bloody scam then. And it was a complete fail. Bloody hell. We... If we could get some prisoners, we could exchange them for some... For some roguery or villainy points that we could use to get some more troops. But, uh... Yeah, it's a bit difficult to get prisoners when uh, everybody you're fighting just runs away. When you've killed a few of them. Obviously we need to heal up just a smidge before we fight anything else. No, forest bandits, please no. Oh, I don't think this is a good idea. Half of our army is coiled levies. Really, we're paying off too many of these guys. I'd fight them, but forest bandits? You know that's not going to end well. Any other sort of bandit. Any other. Come on, scam. I need to get those bloody... Bandits. Why do we keep failing? We're not stopping until we get the bandits for this dude. Oh, finally, we succeeded. Bloody hell. Wonderful. Now we can get those dark troops. Oh, no, they're attacking villagers. Anyway, what's the reward for this uh, tournament? Bronze scale shoulder guards. Yeah, I can't be bothered to do more tournaments right now. It's too sad. We'll do it when we've got full health. Let's go to this hideout and get some bandits whilst they're all distracted. Oh, Bragan Bad's here as well. That's nice. Bam! Freebooters. Oh, there we go. And a good amount of experience. Now let's get back to this man with his recruits. Jesus, that was way too difficult. But I suppose no journey is easy. No, indeed. Here we go. Sir! Sir! Take your men! There we go. Money. Reputation. Ah. <sighs> Let's, uh, let's just try and do another scam. I like how in the beginning I was only succeeding and now I'm just failing all the time. It's sad. It's sad. Oh well. I guess that's how things go, isn't it? Scam! Scam! Complete fail. Okay, I think we actually got to calm down with the criminal activities until... Because we don't want to be considered a criminal here. We want, uh, we want to fight for Sturgia, you know? Right, well, we're going to give our buddy here a slightly better piece of chest because, um, well, we're right, worried about him and we don't want him to get destroyed. Should we give him a hammer or something? I mean, the sword here is okay. By no means excellent, but it's not terrible. We're not going to use more money. All right, anyway, looks like Gunhilder Armdottir has been doing some good stuff this episode, I'd say. She has become known as incredibly honorable ass, despite her origins as a, well, 
she's from the northern lands where the Skuldabrith are from, and she's also from a cult. But I guess down here they don't really know that she's from a cult. Gunhild is here ready with her friend Oreg Break Skull. And some coiled trained shield maidens, raiders, some freebooters even, and regular coiled shield maidens. Next time? Well, what will we do next time? Will we continue to try and raise our reputation with the criminals? Earning money in the process? Or should we perhaps join up with a noble, join his army, and practice our skills in other fights? Because perhaps we could do that if Sturger is at war with anyone. And they are. With Landia, like always. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.